For a brief moment on Wednesday night, John Luigi Buffon must have allowed himself to believe this would be the season he finally gets his hands on the Champions League trophy. The legendary goalkeeper, who has never won the competition during his illustrious career, caught a jubilant figure after Blaise Matuidi scored Juventus' third goal against Real Madrid at the Bermabu. The French midfielder's goal completed a remarkable turnaround for the Italian side, who were beaten 3-0 at home by Zinedine Zidane's men last week. The match appeared to be heading for extra time and Buffon could have been forgiven if he was thinking about the possibility of being his side's hero in a potential penalty shootout. Little did he know then that his evening, and his time as a Champions League footballer, was about to end in disgrace. The 40-year-old lost his head after referee Michael Oliver awarded Real Madrid a stoppage time penalty and was subsequently shown a straight red card. Article continues below Buffon hadn't calmed down after the match, either, telling journalists that Oliver had the bag of rubbish, for her heart. You cannot ruin the dreams of a team. I could have told the referee anything at that moment, but he had to understand the degree of the disaster he was creating, Buffon was quoted as saying by BBC Sport. If you can't handle the pressure and have the courage to make a decision, then you should just sit in the stands and eat your crisps, Joey Barton's tweet after Buffon was sent. Off one man who knows exactly how it feels to be sent off in a big game, albeit not quite as big as a Champions League quarterfinal, is Joey Barton. The former Manchester City and Newcastle United midfielder dropped a tongue-in-cheek tweet after Buffon's dismissal. Gigi Buffon should have taken a few Real Madrid players with him, he tweeted. Barton was, of course, referring to the way that he reacted after the red card he received while playing for QPR against Man City on the final day of the 2011-12 campaign. But some people didn't get the sarcasm, assuming he was being sarcastic, of course, and reacted badly to his tweet. Buffon, fortunately, didn't react the same way as Barton after Mike Dean sent him off. Barton decided to knee Sergio Aguero, headbutt Vincent Company, and go for Mario Balotelli. The FA subsequently handed him a 12-match ban. Fortunately, Buffon didn't go down the same route Barton did. Although he was furious, there was never any chance of him kneeing Rafael Varane or headbutting Ronaldo. However, it's safe to assume that Michael Oliver will be off his Christmas card list this year. Buffon blames the English match official for ruining his Champions League dream, although once the dust settles perhaps he'll realize that his own behavior could have been better. Do you want to write Forgive Messport? Get started today by signing up and submitting an article here, http://gms.to/writeforms.